of water for the mill site in Sugar Park. It still is a source of water we use to this day to water our thirsty locomotives. We're going to stop for a few minutes here while we take on water. In that time, you're free to disembark, explore the immediate area. There are restrooms for your use and by all means. Take a closer look at this marvelous contraption that's been hauling us around these mountains. I do ask you all to remain seated until we have come to a complete stop and our engineer has blown the whistle to confirm that stop. I also remind you again, there is absolutely no smoking and you are sure to find many cool things up here, pine cones, rock and stick, school rocks. Right here we call all those things leave them rights because you have to leave them right there for the next set of people to enjoy. This will be about a 10 to 15 minute stop. Don't worry, we'll let you know when it's time. Please remain seated. It is now safe to disembark. Enjoy your time here.
Japan, but you enjoy the other half of your excursion today. The experience of being far behind a purpose-built mountain steam locomotive that has come through a forest and has surely come to hands. For the next half hour, it is again the early 20th century, and you are a lumberjack deep in the frontier. There's no TikTok, no Instagram. There are telegrams, not telephones. There are considerably less people living in the valley below. Nothing in your world is for certain. Not your food, not your comfort, not your health or good fortune. But there is this shining light of madness. The hopes and follies of mankind have come to you as this belching beast of steam and steel come to help you while your harvest the trees out of the forest perhaps make your fortunes in the west. Feel the sun shadow upon you. Listen to the triple cadence of those engines hauling us up the hill. Listen for the other accessories that steam. Feel yourself bounced around on this ungainly contraption. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you came for, an experience that was once so common to these mountains for a time. It's gone now for the most part, but here in these southern mountains should Thank <laughs> you. 
bounced down off of Charles Hill and bounced. Company saw no improvement in the car or economy or the market for oil. Remember, the country is in the early years of the Great Depression at the time. So they decided to voluntarily close down their business. On a cold and rainy day in December of 31, in the last little rounds they had in the mill site, the mill foreman held down that whistle for a full 10 minutes to signal an end to the company's run.